Hey guys, how's it going? We are coming to you on a beautiful March Texas day, mid 70 degrees, can't complain. It's a perfect day for a walk around on an SDX. This SDX in particular is about to head to Utah for Porter Transport. Porter, this is their second SDX. They have an orange one that's a twin to this that they've run for now a couple of years. Uh, it has served them well and so, you know, they thought it's time to expand. It's time to add to the fleet. So what better than adding another SDX to the fleet? We have it behind our tow pig today for the sake of the video, 2021 uh, Ram 3500. We got the Cummins and the ASIN transmission. It's a beast, but it's a great, it's a great match for this trailer. Actually, this SDX is a 212, so 212K axles, uh, perfect kind of combo, you know, as far as the weight rating of this trailer versus what this truck should have behind it. It's a really cool setup. Uh, you know, the SDX is the, like it's the top shelf of the hotshot game. Like when you're serious about it, I mean, obviously not gonna say goosenecks are not serious hotshot trailers, but the SDX is like that next level, like the ultimate for when you're talking about that 3,500, 4,500, 5,500 uh, truck hotshot game. This is where it's at. Let's take a look at this one, kind of see what options he chose. I love it because, you know, Porter, he found out with his first one what works for him, and it didn't have to be like all the things, right? He kept it, he kept it pretty basic. I mean, he added some necessity type options to it, but other than that, he he found his niche, what he what works for him, and let's do it again. Let's let's duplicate it, uh, grow the business. You know, this is what it's about, fueling the growth and success of the our team members, customers, customers in this case, community abroad. You know, it's it's uh that's what we're here for. So, anyways, let's get going. So this one is a 53, it's 43 foot plus the 10 foot step. So what's interesting about the SDX, if you are just tuning in and haven't seen any other videos, from the back of the deck or the back of the step deck to the back of the ramps, exactly the same frame. Um, and you know, as far as the frame and the way it's built and everything is exactly the same as the FMAX series or the Gooseneck series that we launched just over four years ago. Where it's different, obviously, is from here to the front, we take away the gooseneck and add the 10 foot step assembly. So that's eight feet, you know, eight and a half feet wide, just like the bottom deck, but 10 feet long, roughly 80 square feet of surface area to be able to haul more cargo. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Um, it's just being able to haul more. Now, you can do a gooseneck with the deck up on the neck, but it's quite a bit higher, not as easy to use, not as accessible. And so, you know, on the step you can carry you see we've got these we'll look at them in a minute but eight and a half foot ramps you can pull a vehicle up here you can put palleted goods up there you can use it to store tarps and things like it's it really makes your this area that's normally kind of void way more versatile so as far as the tow truck you can see we've got a flatbed on this one the step deck has to be used in conjunction with either a flatbed like this a hot shot bed which is the kind of a variation of a flatbed or you have to have it mounted you know your hitch or your kingpin mounted directly to the frame you can't use a traditional truck bed just for the shear we we're trying to keep this as low profile as possible and so you can't run a traditional truck bed like but in this case like i was saying this is kind of a really perfect combo for the sdx 212 is this ram 3500 so moving on this trailer weighs i want to point out we started doing this not too long ago this trailer weighs 10 to 60 and some people are probably going well that's 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 the weight before before options well back in in january of 2022 this year we began weighing every trailer before it leaves diamond sea so it leaves the finished door and quality inspection then it goes straight to the scale house and that's where it gets its VIN sticker applied after it's weighed. And so this weight, 10 to 60, is exactly how it uh, is outfitted with the extras that are on this one, which is awesome because it gives you, when it shows up, you know exactly what you're dealing with as far as how much the trailer weighs and how much you're able to carry. I know that it, the laws differ all across the country as far as state rules and what each individual officer claims as far as you know the number of tires and how much they're rated at and the axles and what the gvwr is all those things 
but the good thing is uh, at least you have that that weight that curb weight of the trailer before any uh, with it with all the options before you get going so you know what you're dealing with so again this one is built this this frame you can see is the engineered beam frame so uh, just like the fmax series so we have full control over the height of the beam of the main frame we've got full control over the height the thickness of the material the thickness of the web material and we are very specific on how that's designed per the length of trailer per the length of it per the the weight rating of the trailer we customize that frame for every single different combination based on what the trailer is designed to do what weight what length on this one right here he did add a second box the sdx comes with one 42 inch storage box he added a second one just to have a little bit extra for straps you know different different things straps uh boomers uh, or binders i should say got called out on that a few weeks ago apparently boomers is an old school term especially in the south as the old style chain boomers versus the binders that you have now the ratchet binders i almost missed pointing out the step deck is standard with two speed jost jacks and these aren't just standard old jacks they're aluminum so they're lighter weight but they are still heavy duty um 25k landing gear got this a more chain tray storage up front as well all right so for the ramps you can see the holes in the back of the step these ramps stow there they're eight and a half feet long so it gives you a nice gradual approach angle depending on the type of vehicle you're wanting to load and it allows you to use that upper deck space so if you've got say a long wheelbase vehicle and you have another one that needs to go at the back this one allows you to pull that one up further onto the step to where that you know it gives you more space in the back so it's a really cool feature because when not needed they slide away into the back of the step deck they're hidden to where they're not in the way it's a really cool feature so on this one like i was mentioned earlier he kind of kept it simple you got standard the standard 12k equalizer suspension 48 and a half inch spread obviously on the step deck you can go up to the hutch heavy duty adjustable or you can go to air ride but again eric with the routes he runs and the customers he runs for he knows that the on his other one the standard 12k suspension has been good it, it works for him and so that's the way he kept it he did opt for 14 ply radials up from the 10 ply um, so you, and you can obviously go up from there to the 215s he runs the 14s and and likes it it works for him on loading style he chose the max ramps and in my opinion the max ramps is like ultimate versatility because when they're flipped in the down position like this one you have that full length of deck that you can load the trailer you know just like a, if it was a straight deck but then also obviously you have the ability to have them down and load up a piece of equipment and the third option is like you see here this one's pinned up it comes with these bars that the trailer does so that you know if you've got a long wheelbase vehicle or whatever it is say uh, you're hauling a you know a tractor that has an implement behind it or something like that and it needs to hang off in this area and you're not able to flip the ramps cool no problem you just pin it in the upright position and go on down the road let's see so this option is the last one i think we'll talk about that that he went for um, it is the eight and a half foot dunnage rack we call it that but i've seen it used for many different things dunnage tarp storage uh, which dunnage is the four by fours you know that you stack your your cargo on but uh, it's been used for all kinds of stuff people put you know a long uh, what's it called like the long handled jacks or high lift jacks in there all kinds of stuff and then you can use the little openings to bungee you know across there so that that stuff doesn't obviously doesn't come out going down the road let's see the so orange orange is is an interesting thing you know like i said his other trailer was orange the thing about orange is it stands out you see it coming down the road you know from a from like a hazard safety standpoint also you know i've mentioned in other videos which be hard to steal a step deck unless you have just the right setup to pull it but orange is great for theft pre prevention as well we, we love doing other colors right you know black is black is black what shade of black do you want that's what most manufacturers do 
you know, we have, a, gosh, it's like eight, eight standard colors that are no charge. Then we got a, an orange, a couple of greens, you know, the few colors that are a, just a small upcharge, orange being one of them, but it's worth it. It all uses that same DM coating process that we use on everything else. So it's, it's just as durable. It's got the, the zinc and rich primer under it. It's all prepped the same way. It's got the Sherwin top coat on it, Sherwin Williams top coat that's super durable, um, long lasting. So it's a, it's a beautiful color and I, I love the orange. So uh, Porter knocked it out with this one, knocked it out of the park, you know. Um, anyways, if you're ready to take your hotshot game to the next level, the SDX is where it's at. You can jump on our website. Like all the other DC models, there's tons of options. I mean, there's winch options, air rod options, slide track and ratchets, you, you name it. I mean, you can build one out to specifically fit the, the job you're needing to do, uh, the type of cargo you like to run, like all of that, anywhere from 25,900 GVW like this one, all the way up to 40,000, different axle configurations, all that good stuff. So appreciate it guys. Hope this was helpful. Jump on, build you an SDX, and we'll see you on the road.